Hello, I've just got this brand new copy of Grammatic 5 for MS-DOS. Uh, it's unopened, um, I don't know much about it, but I'm excited to find out and see if I can get it working on a modern system. Alright, let's get started. Uh, this is Grammatic 5 from 1992. It's a standalone spelling and grammar checker for MS-DOS. I believe this is the last version ever made. After this, the company was acquired by Corel. As you can see, it's not a big box release, it's just shrink-wrapped. Registration card. I assume the 3.5 inch diskette is in here. So this is if you need a 5 and a quarter inch disk, you can return the original disk and they'll send you it in a different format. Command line options, that's going to come in handy. Alright, well how exciting, let's open this. Huh. Oh, so this comes with a five and a quarter inch disc, that's surprising. Serial numbers. Okay, let's get this installed. Let's just mount it and check the disc is still working. I won't make you sit through the whole installation, I'll fast forward to the end and we can try it out. Okay, it's installed, so let's try it out. Go. Cool. My little dog wants to help. <laughs> Let's start DOSMU and try it out. So I can see there's a tor.bat. That sounds like a good place to start. Let's try it out. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to check this tor file. Well, that's pretty interesting already because obviously the word I is spelled correctly. And it, but it knows from context that it wasn't the correct word. Um, so let's accept a suggestion. Spelling error, that looks right. So replace, next. So I can choose one of the candidate replacements. That seems like it should be ignored. Maybe it's the name of the company. The passive voice, instead of using the active voice. Well, that sounds complicated, but let's read the help for it. Ah, so it has a built-in style guide, that's pretty cool. You may have two independent clauses. Try dividing them into separate sentences. Yeah, I agree with that, so let's try following their advice. We'll do edit. Okay, and so we've got a little text editor here. So let's split it into two sentences. Ah, oh, okay, that seems fair. Replace, ah, so I can choose a candidate. Oh, so it doesn't know that this is the incorrect word, it just knows that these two words are commonly confused. And so it's just prompting you to make sure you pick the correct one. Uh, so let's pick the correct one and then manually move on. 
So it does sometimes understand the context. So it seems like it correctly understood from context that this word was incorrect. Okay, so it's suggesting that the sentence here is too long, and I would agree that seems like a pretty long sentence. Alright, so that's pretty good. Let's look at the statistics. Okay, so it's got these kind of uh, flesh Kincaid scores that you sometimes get in word processors. Oh, so that's kind of fun. It shows you like a, a well, um, shows you like a history of the words you use. So that's pretty interesting. You can compare your document to a bunch of sample documents, such as the Gettysburg Address or a Hemingway short story. Uh, what does customize do? Also, you can replace a standard reference with your own document. If I can write a script that will automatically invoke this, this could actually be quite handy, and I could see myself using this. Uh, so let's see how that would look. So I'll just write a quick text document with Vim to test. I've configured G Drive to be the CWD in DOSMU, and in is just a simple 4DOS alias. So let's see if that works. Nice, it looks really good. Ah, that's ironic. I spell it so badly, you can't even guess a replacement. Uh, I'll just use the edit mode to fix it. Well, I don't agree. <laughs> F10. Nice, all done. Let's see if it saved those changes. That is really kind of cool, it worked perfectly. Uh, I really think this is better than Acepel and similar Unix tools. I could see myself using this. Um, I'll just write a quick shell function to invoke it. Oops, missing a quote. Uh, looks good to me. Nice! Alright, well I hope you enjoyed this little Grammatic 5. Uh, I think this could be a useful tool that I might actually use. Um, and I just love using this old software on modern machines. Um, I guess that's it for now, so thanks for watching.